What's up guys, in this video I'm going to make an ecosphere, which is a self-sustaining system. So I will fill this with water and all kinds of plants and little creatures. I will close it completely, airtight, and I hope it will sustain itself. So the first thing I'm going to add is charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and hammer it down to find pieces. So now the charcoal is all fine, and just little grains, so I'm going to go ahead and add this. Why do I add charcoal you may ask? Well, charcoal is very porous and has a large surface area, so it will help it keep the environment clean and take up all kinds of small toxics and molecules. So I'm just filling the jar with the bottom layer of charcoal. And it's also a source of carbon for the creatures, for the plants and everything. On top of this I'm just going to put some um, soil, some potting soil. So I'm going to go ahead and push it. When you get a jar, try to get a jar which is large enough for your hand to fit. That makes it a lot easier. Next, I'm going to add some gravel for an aquarium because it keeps everything in place. Next, for the plants, I'm going to add this little grass first. This is a little taller one which will fit the tank perfectly and provide some oxygen for the inhabitants. And to provide some extra oxygen, I also got these two small. Mario Moss Balls. Because this is actually not the, the roots, it's just yeah, to keep the moisture for the roots. So I'm going to try to remove it a little bit, but very careful because I'm already damaging the roots a little bit. That looks pretty good. That's a nice little environment for my inhabitant, which is a snail. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. The next step is to add water. So I got this pond water from my neighbors. It's very clear water, as you can see, without any uh, chlorine added to it. So make sure to not have water from the tap, because it will kill all the creatures. Real careful. Yeah, that's what I wanted to prevent, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. I'm just going to do it like this. I wasn't actually careful enough, and well, you see what it did. The plant came loose. This is what it looks like, right? <coughs> that's my rooster, right there. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I decided to redo it because it wasn't very pretty with the dirt. And the dirt I think it has like little wood chips and all that kind of stuff in it. So it might have a chance to rot inside of the jar when it's wet all the time. And um, I'm going to do these little stones at the bottom instead of the dirt. And also some charcoal. So I'm just going to put a nice thick little layer of these stones. So now I'm going to put in the pond water, also with a cup, so it doesn't disturb it too much. Oh no. Well, that's a charcoal you see. So the water is much clearer right now. It still has a lot of like, yeah, probably charcoal on the top of it. I'm just going to let it like this, it will probably settle down in a few days or something. I'm going to measure the temperature real quick. As you can see it's about 23 degrees in here. So let's measure it. So it's not at room temperature yet, but well yeah, these plants 
I have had a tough day. I'm sure they can handle this also. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it does actually float. I think I have to weigh it down with a stone or something. Yeah. Got this stone to try to weigh it down. Let's put the stone just right in the middle of it. I don't see another way. This is a little less buoyant than the other one, so I guess that's nice. Well, this might be a little too much, actually. Yeah. I'm going to do just half of it. I'm going to take only this part. And I'm going to leave this part out. This is what it looks like. So, yeah, with the stone it's a little messy, but... It's a really difficult plant. It's buoyant as hell. For the final step, I got these two Mario Moss balls. Which are just, well, pretty good oxygen producers. And you can just put it wherever you want, like that. And the second one, I'm gonna put like behind there or somewhere. And then now we have to add the star of the show, which is the snail. Beautiful little guy, look at him. So let's put him in his new environment. There he goes. There you can see him hanging around. It's already moving. Already exploring his new environment. It's now the next day and the water is still a little cloudy. But yeah, I'm sure it will clear up in a matter of a few days. Uh, the plants still look fine. I hope they will survive. He's still alive. He's been patrolling the area the whole night, the whole day. And he seems pretty good. So, our little snail, which I've named Sheldon, still survived. I think I will leave it open one more day. And tomorrow, when everything looks alright, I will finally close it down. Look at this, guys. Sheldon is on the move. Look how cute he is. And I actually discovered something. He is not the only creature. On the Mario Moss Balls are these tiny little snails. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five. At least five of them. So yeah, I don't actually know how they came in this tank. Maybe on the plants? Or in the water, I don't know. But they're definitely here. So yeah, that's awesome. So guys, it's now day three. And as you can see, Sheldon is still alive. And thriving. But I'm not really satisfied with the looks of this. It just really doesn't look good at all. I think I'm actually gonna redo it. And hopefully, uh, yeah, well, third time's a charm, they say, so... I'm just going to remove the water and the plants. The plants have, yeah, I think they just had a, too much of a shock. I'm going to try to rehabilitate them in another container. Got this container already filled with about 10 centimeters of water. And I'm going to put all the plants from, yeah, the one I had left over and from the container in this and hopefully they will rehabilitate for in maybe future projects. And I'm also going to pour this water inside of this. First let me actually measure the temperature of the two waters. Because I don't want to make the same mistakes again. This water is at 21 degrees. This water is at 24 degrees, so it's a little hotter. So then I'm going to pour some water from this in that first. Sheldon is okay, I see him. Oh yeah, I actually can't put Sheldon in this because it's actually tap water and I don't know if that's very good for him. So I'm going to put him in this water real quick. Shake it a bit for oxygen. Important step. Now the water can absorb oxygen from the air. Now I'm going to put in Sheldon in the plants 
Yeah, all the little snails, I think most of them are, are in the tank here or on the plants or well especially on the moss balls but the moss balls I'm going to keep them inside these actually that I kept in this bag look pretty good let me take out the moss ball real quick so guys I'm going to take this and I can squeeze it in I hope I'm going to be able to take it out afterwards but then I can pour straight onto this and then it won't disturb the bottom like the first time and for the water I'm just going to use this bottled mineral water yeah it's just at room temperature so that's perfect As you can see, there are already little snails crawling around. Here there are other ones. While I was doing this, I looked outside and look at this. It's April now, April 11th I think. In Belgium. <laughs> so yeah, let's go Belgium. I've waited for about an hour and well the water is pretty clear I must say. It's time to move in the plot. This one was in the tank before, but it doesn't really look good in comparison with these ones, which look actually pretty nice. So I'm going to put in these ones and I'm probably going to trim this one a little bit and I'm also going to put this one back inside. I'll have to put some stones, not this one again, because yeah, that wasn't very uh, handy. Some small stones in the middle so it will just sink to the bottom. I got all of these beautiful looking rocks to decorate the the ecosphere and I think I'm going to use this one, maybe this one, probably this one because it's green so it actually blends in to the plant and I'm going to put it like straight in the middle of here so it will sink to the bottom without yeah. I want the plant to go upward let's try and put it inside very gently make a small little hole yeah this looks way better this one behind the grassy plant just gently put it in. The temperatures are equal by the way. And now it's just floating back up. So I might also put a little stone in between. Black stone, the least pretty one I think. Now I'm going to add these uh, decorations. So this one is pretty nice. Then all of these minerals. And now it's time to put Sheldon back in, along with the moss balls. One moss ball. This is a little snail here. Right there. Remove this, yeah. Just right in between there. And let's drop him inside. Et voila! This is our third and hopefully final edition of the Ecosphere. This is definitely the best version with some nice decorations. I'll give one more update tomorrow and then I will probably 
finally close it down if everything looks fine. Yes, I discovered something very nice. Uh, sorry for the sound of the rain if you can hear it. And look what I found. I think while Sheldon was in this bag for like about maybe two hours, he actually, of she, actually laid some eggs. So I'm going to try to put them in the tank. So we could have like some kind of, um, well, generation going on in there. That would be nice. It's now the next day and it looks pretty good actually. As you might be able to see there's a lot of air bubbles coming up. There he is. He's thriving. It's pretty clear the water. I added some more so to fill it up. This is about the amount of space you want to remain. And I'm actually gonna close it down now. And this should uh, be a pretty nice little ecosystem. Maybe one problem is that there's not enough of food for the snails because it's all mineral water without much algae and all that kind of stuff. Normally in the bottom there should be some algae left over. So that might be the downside of this setup. I didn't add any algae. Isn't he adorable? So in a month or something I will give you guys an update. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.